It's so funny, last night, like, as I wrapped up with everything we were doing around 12.30 in the morning, I started thinking that, like, I was using that excuse, like, I didn't get to work out yesterday. And the only time I could have was, like, a small window of time in the morning before we got started. But then I caught myself, I'm like, I'm using this, that's the excuse. That's what a lot of this has to do with. A lot of these excuses True. are putting blame on something else and not taking blame yourself, not owning it, not That's taking right. personal responsibility. True. So if you get anything out of this, um, get that in that any excuse when it comes out of your mouth, it is you putting the blame for your lack of something right. on something else or someone else or yep. some system or whatever that may be. So take Product, that and flip it. Product, company, the economy, the whatever it so is. So take that and flip it and, and throw a, what can I do to make this situation better so that I don't feel this way? Or what can I do to increase my sales? What can I do to close more of these leads that I'm getting. Not, these leads are crap. What can I do to close these leads? Excuses, I learned this from um, a 23 year Navy SEAL, incredible human being, his name is Tom Shea. Uh, he said excuses are subtle, seductive, and believable. Subtle, I mean, they kind of just creep in. Like, all of a sudden you think like, oh, you mean, it, you know, it wouldn't be that big, big a deal if I didn't go to the gym today. It's just, it's just one workout. And then the seductive part about it is like when you start really believing it, you know, when you start really kind of thinking like, yeah, like, oh, I mean, I'll work out hard tomorrow. I worked out hard. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm sore from doing shoulders the other day. Like, oh, and it starts becoming seductive. The second it becomes believable, it's over. You're not going to do it. Um, so subtle, seductive, and believable. That's what excuses are. But if you carry that do it anyway mentality, it'll eliminate those opportunities for those excuses to subtly slip in um, and it'll ultimately help you win the day. And we talk about it as, you know, taking personal responsibility. I just had this realization that everything was my fault. Yeah. The good stuff and the bad stuff. Yeah. I was exactly where I was in my life all because of the decisions I had made and the things that had led up to that, it was all my fault. And, and I can remember the very first times on podcasts and on interviews that I started saying this, like, it's all your fault, it's all your fault, it's all your fault. And you'd, you'd get that pushback from people, well, this abuse that happened to me as a child, that wasn't my fault. I completely understand yeah. that, but it's 30 years later and it's still controlling you. That's all your fault. And it's just taking all of that ownership. And what happens when you do that is it's literally taking the handcuffs off of you. And now you're able to look up and look to your left and right and, and say, okay, wh what's next? Yeah.